What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Producers Life. I'm your man, Big Boy Tracks, as always. And today we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna do something completely different. We're gonna be doing some reggae today. Now, this beat video was actually a request by somebody in the comments, I wanna say about a couple months ago. When I first saw the comment, I was kinda hesitant to do it. Figured it's a new year, why not just give it a try? So last night I did a lot of research. I listened to a lot of reggae. One artist in particular that really grabbed my attention was Ina Kamozi. He just had a very unique sound. Now, if you guys are not familiar with him, quite sure you guys heard the track called Welcome to Jam Rock by Damian Marley. Damian Marley actually sampled Mosey's song called World of Music, which is a super dope record by itself. So for this beat, I want to take inspiration from Ina and uh, try to come up with something dope. I think I did enough research last night to, to pull some off, hopefully, but we'll see. So I want you guys to sit back, relax, and hope everybody enjoys the beat maker video. Let's go. Two sets of hi hats. So it's a slight delay using OBS. So I muted every other sound except for this one hi hat. Tweaked it a little bit. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna lay down is the guitar. For the guitar today, we're actually gonna be using Orange Tree Samples, Evolution Hollow Valley Blues, and this preset is called the Deep C. As you see right here on the screen, I also have Guitar Rig put up, Guitar Rig 6 to be exact, and this preset is called the Funky Wolf. So we're gonna come up with a nice little pattern for this track, so let's see what happens. <laughs> Now let's add that bass to this track. And today we're actually switching it up. We're using Trillium and I'm using the R&B mute. I was kind of going back and forth whether now I was gonna play this in the higher register or the lower. I think I'm gonna have it somewhere around here where we at. Somewhere around there. So I'm gonna play something like that. Let's see how this goes, man. I'm not sure guys. up there towards the end part. So now I want to add like some suspense to this track and to do that I want to go ahead and add a string section in here. Now honestly I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that in this track particularly. So I got Holly on put up and these are the ensemble strings. So yeah like I said I'm going to do something pretty simple like this. Now I'm gonna hold down that note and then take it down. 
Very simple, just like I said, just to add a little tension, you know, a little suspense to this track. She held that note a tad bit longer. Let's see how that sounds. Yeah, that's, that's better. I already got like a dope hook in my head that I want to do. So moving on guys, let's add us a nice electric piano with some wah-wah added to it. Initially I thought about just using my electric guitar and you know, hooking up my wah-wah pedal. But I figure instead of a guitar, let's use an electric piano. I feel like it'll fit this beat a little bit better. So right here, I actually got the XZ5080 put up and this is called the Psycho EP. And this is what it sounds like. So I think that'll fit pretty good in this beat. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and add us a nice trumpet section in this track. For our trumpet, we will be using the SRX World by Roland, and this preset is called the Split This SRX. I was thinking about getting a trumpet with like a swelling effect. I may still do that, but for now, we're just gonna use this one. The swelling effect is more dramatic sound, in my opinion. And depending on the beat, it can fit well, then other times, it cannot fit well, but we'll see how this turns out first. That sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. But last but not least for our instruments, I wanna go ahead and add in a nice organ sound in this track. Now I got the Roland Super JB1080 put up, and this is a pretty decent sounding one. This is called the Tone Solo. I'm gonna do something very simple like this because it's a lot going on in this track, so I'm just gonna kinda layer that guitar. I'm not sure how exactly I wanna go with this pattern. I'm just kinda go with the flow. Probably change that end part up. Um, like, like I said, I was just kind of freestyling those notes in. Typically, I like to have like some sort of idea already in my head once I move on to the next instrument. This one, I wasn't sure about. Honestly, I wasn't sure if I was gonna even use an organ, but um, like I said, I figure it out. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll fix that end part. The end part definitely needs to be fixed. All right, so to truly finalize this beat, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna render this track out probably without that organ in there until I fix it, but I'm gonna send it out and I'm gonna have a reggae artist sing on it. I don't know anybody locally or anything like that, so I'm gonna probably use Fiverr and try to find somebody on there and uh, send this track out. And I already got an idea for the hook I want them to say, and it was something like this. Turn my dreams into a nightmare. The enemy, he don't fight fair. I got the Lord on my side, yeah. No more darkness, only light here. So that's the idea for the hook, something like that. Hopefully I can find the right person for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and send this off. And more than likely, this will probably be a two day video. So uh, we'll be back. 
All right guys, so today is January the 11th and this is day two of this beat making video. So I just got the vocals back sooner than expected. I didn't plan on actually releasing this video probably until Friday or Saturday because that's when the estimated delivery was of the vocals, but he got them back to me within probably a little bit under 24 hours, which is pretty much unexpected. And he did an incredible job on the vocals, man. So what I'm about to do right now is I'm about to get all the drums tracked out of the MPC, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get all this arranged so you guys can check out what everything sound like together. Instead of me right now just playing you a snippet of it, I'll play everything all together so you guys can kind of get the full feel of it. So let's go make this happen. Oh, well, oh, well, oh, well. wraps up today's beat making video this is probably honestly one of my favorite videos that i've ever done on this channel so far i think because it was just so different than what i'm used to doing on this channel and it was really fun experiment you know trying out different genres especially something like this overall everything came out fire but you guys let me know what you think down in the comments below if you enjoyed this beat making video go ahead and give it a like give it a thumbs up and do all that good stuff and if you haven't subscribed please make sure you do because i will be coming back once again this weekend with another beat making video I want to thank everybody out there for watching and kicking it with your man, Big Boy Tracks. Right here is Producer's Life, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Yeah, yeah. No more darkness, only light here. Yeah.